Hello, my name is Dion Levingston. I'm the regional vice president for the stations of Radio One, and I'm welcoming you into my house right now where a lot of us are watching this because of the last nine months. So I'm very excited. We put together two days of action-packed seminars for our Inspire You Virtual Expo. We're gonna to talk to you about health, self, wealth. We've got experts they are gonna talk about your finances, they're gonna talk about your relationships, gonna talk about changing careers, gonna talk about continuing education and going back to college, gonna to talk to you about beating addiction. Um, and of course, because we are Radio One, we have one-on-one -on -one interviews with some of the biggest artists in entertainment and a performance or two in there. So we wanted to end 2020 on a positive note because we know what we've all been through for the last nine months. So we want to kick and lead into 2021 and give you some thoughts and some positive things to move forward with. So thank you. Thank you to everybody in our community for everything you've done. Thank you to the Urban League, to Gleaners, to Second Helpings for the 35 weeks we've been out there um, feeding people in our community. Thank you to all of the um, organizations that came alongside us when we gave away 20,000 promotional announcements to support people and businesses and organizations that were helping people in this crisis. Uh, thank you to all of those people who come alongside at everything we've done for the last nine months and everything you've done, because that's what we do in Indianapolis and that's what we do in Indiana. We support each other like the family we are. Hello, I'm Bob Osley, President of the Indianapolis City County Council. And on behalf of the Council, I want to welcome you to Radio One Indy's Inspire You Virtual Expo. There's been a lot of talk about what a tough year 2020 has been, and there's no denying that fact. Our community has been tested in ways we could not have ever dreamed of just a year ago. But one of the best things about being a member of Council is that I get to see, close up, the heart and soul that so many of you invest in your neighborhoods, your churches, your schools, and small businesses, and so much more. Whether it's fighting the COVID-19 pandemic, fighting to end gun violence, looking in on the elders in our communities, helping deliver meals to our most vulnerable neighbors, or fighting for racial equity, I've seen members of this community be an ever-present help in trouble for one another. So while I'm meant to deliver a message of inspiration to you, what I really wanna share is how much you have inspired me over the past year. Your commitment to this community is the bedrock upon which we will build a more equitable city for us all. I'm excited that you've joined us and I hope to join you face to face and arm in arm next year. Greetings everyone and welcome to the Inspire You Virtual Expo. I'm Bishop Donald Golda. There's been a word in my spirit lately and that word is perseverance. Perseverance simply means to persist in spite of negative spirits, negativity, opposition, and even discouragement. The enemy would do everything within his power to keep you from pursuing your purpose. The synonym for the word perseverance is persistence. With that being said, my brothers and sisters, I want to encourage you to push powerfully, persevere. Don't let pity, problems, or even pandemic hinder you from pursuing your purpose. Be persistent in your pursuit. In the Bible, in 1 Samuel, the 30th chapter, when King David and his men reached Ziglag, they found that uh, the enemy, the Amalekites, had raided the city. They burned the city. They took their wives, their daughters, and their sons, and all the inhabitants into captivity. And when they saw this, they cried and they wept sorely till they could not weep any more. And so King David uh, was greatly distressed by this for the people spake of even stoning him because the soul of all the people was grieved. Every man for his sons, for his daughters, but David had to encourage himself in the Lord his God. David began to consult with God about the situation. So the Bible says David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them, and without fail recover 
all. I want to tell somebody you're going to recover all. So it matters not, my brothers and sisters, how things look, what it looks like, what is looking like around you, pandemic, loss of job, sickness, whatever the case might be. Amen. Inquire of God. Consult with God. Persevere. Be persistent in your pursuit. Praise God in advance and your victory is guaranteed. Again, I'm Bishop Donald Golder and I approve this message.